Mother Oh my. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a little new video. Little new video. Whatever. We got another episode of Mike Mail here today. Starting off with a package from Rasslin' Posts on Instagram. He doesn't really post figures anymore. He just goes to live events and gets front row. But I bought this off him for $20 free shipping, 20 ships. Um, I already have a figure of this guy, multiple figures of this guy. But I wanted this specific figure of this guy. And as you can tell, nothing else is in the... Po oh, shit. Okay. All right. We have the ringside exclusive Finn Balor Balor Club Elite. And it is a fix-up, which is another reason why I kind of wanted it. He swapped on Stone Cold style knee pads. And he swapped on some different forearms, it looks like. And I dig it. I dig the fix-up swap. I'm probably going to be swapping on my custom head from BW Animations with the beard. I'll show you guys that afterwards. And along with it, I got two custom cloth shirts. I got the Balor Club Worldwide. And I got this Battle Club shirt. So it was a good deal for $20 shipped. Thank you, Rasslin Posts. And follow him on Instagram if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, on to the next package. All right. On to the next package on this edition. We got a... I just dropped something. We got a package from Amazon. It's a... I'd say a decent sized package. Um, it's got two elites in it. Got them for Christmas. Well, I bought them with Christmas money. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, the package is opened up. I don't fucking care if you didn't see me open it. You've seen it before I opened it, so there you go. There's two elites in here, as I already said. Two elites that are kind of old, but I thought I needed them. The first one, I'm getting the fucking box out of the ring. I don't care. The first one you have is the top picks, top talents, whatever the fuck you want to call it, AJ. And the top picks, Bowie. Oh, I need an option. Okay, but... I can't fucking see. Okay. Well, I keep dropping shit. Oh, my God. So, the first thing is the Balor. I'm using this for to make a custom Tony Nice that I'm going to make without using paint. You guys will see that at the end of the episode. I like the head scan, but I already have a Balor that you've seen I get that I got before. And the AJ. I've been wanting this, AJ, uh, this is a JJ for a long time. AJ. Oh, my God. The ghost is back. It's making my lighting look shitty. But yeah, the AJ is just to use as an AJ. I really like this attire. Uh, moving on to the next package. All right. And the last package for this episode of Mike Mel. We have a package from BW Animations. In here we have a custom head scan that a lot of people spent $40 for. And guess what? I did not. An Elite's figure. I gave him two years ago in a trade, but I got it back. And a custom arm. For a specific guy who's in a specific company that is not WWE. So first off, we'll take a look at the head scan. We got the John Moxley head. Come on, focus now. Don't fuck around. Got the John Moxley head. I have a body already planned for it. I'll show you guys that at the end. We have his custom painted, all hand painted Jericho arm. The first one he ever did. Very nice. And the figure is this NXT Rollins. Yeah, I traded this him a long ass time ago. When it first came out, I remember I found it in Target for my birthday. And I traded it to BW. But I got it back. Plan on doing a head swap and a knee pad swap. So, uh, yeah, it has water on it. BW, you fucking idiot. He probably fucking did the swap and then sent it right away. Now it's all fucking wet. Whatever. But, yeah, thanks, BW. You're a piece of trash got the head got the arm uh yeah moving on okay so now i'm going to show you guys everything i've done with the figures you've seen in this episode i know this wasn't the longest episode but uh what the fuck ever starting off with the balor i got from wrestling posts i put the cloth shirt on it and i swapped on the bw head scan with the beard i really like this figure the ringside exclusive still stands out as one of the best balor like non-painted figures i think besides his new one with the leather jacket but uh yeah, I really like how this turned out with this head scan. Next up with the custom arm. This looks very nice, very nice. Eventually, I am going to get a torso swap Jericho to make like a current updated Jericho, but I still prefer the list of Jericho, you know, great gimmick and everything. So, uh, yeah, really nice arm from BW. Now, I'm a customizer. This is my custom elite Tony Nice. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fucking customizer, guys. Mike the Customizer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I try to take shortcuts with figures. 
and I do everything with the least amount of work. So this is a pretty simple conversion. I took the basic Tony Nese head, the top talons Balor that you guys see me unbox, take the lower Balor arms, swap on upper Cena arms, remove the logos, and uh, yeah, here we got Tony Nese. I really prefer these upper arms for Tony Nese because he's a fucking jacked ass guy. But a lot of people just use regular Balor arms. But I thought I'd do an actual hard swap and swap on some upper Cena arms because I prefer those over, you know, the slim Balor arms. Um, here's just the AJ. Um, I really like this AJ. I don't, not, not much else to say here. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, AJ. Fuck it. Um, another fix up with the figure that I got in this episode is this Seth Rollins. I swapped on the better head. Swapped on some smaller arms because I don't like those big arms for Rollins. And I swapped on smaller knee pads. Um, this is basically if he went back to this attire today. Which, it's a possibility with the whole AOP thing. But, uh, yeah, you never know. And last but not least, maybe why you clicked on this video. Because I put this in the title because why not. It is the Custom Elite John Max. I can't do the whole Justin Roberts voice. Fuck, this lighting keeps going different. But, yep. Yeah. It is the ECW Matt Hardy whole body with Dean Ambrose shield arms and the custom head by BEW Animations. I think this turned out a lot. I'm getting a lot of a lot of feedback on this on Instagram. Follow me at Mike the Wrestling Collector if you are not already. I really like the way this turned out. It's just my moxley. I'm not like doing it to sell it or anything like that. This is my like, you know, to pose it around and you know, sure, it's not accurate. It's basically camo jeans, but whatever. I gave him the North American ta Championship. Don't ask me why. But, uh, yeah, there's that. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. Like I said, it's not the longest episode. But on Monday, I think this is going up on a fucking Thursday. Next Monday or Tuesday, I have a big package coming. I spent like $180 on all these figures that I'm getting. So, uh, yeah, that will be another Mike Mail episode for you guys. But thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Mike the Wrestling Collector. And, uh, yeah. Peace out.